What is up guys, JPR Tech here and today I got an awesome tip for all of you guys out there that do conference meetings, Zoom meetings regularly. Uh, this tip is gonna be really awesome. That is the ability to check yourself, your frame in your whole video without actually starting the conference meeting. Look at yourself really quick, make sure that the lighting, the framing, everything is good. Uh, you could go to the preference, the zoom preference, go to the video and you could see yourself there, but the screen is actually tiny, really small, and it's just difficult to see, especially if you're gonna be doing manual focusing, it's hard to see whether you're in focus or not. You could also use what I have open here on the corner at the bottom, uh, QuickTime Player, which actually does have a webcam feature or a video recording feature, which works great, but that's the problem. You gotta open up QuickTime, you gotta select the record a new movie. And another problem is that not only is it troublesome to get started, but it's not mirror. So when I raise my left hand, my right hand is going up. Or when I raise my right hand, the left hand is going up. It's, it's the opposite. So it'll be kind of tricky to get your framing right. That's one con about using the built-in app. But the good news is there is a free app and it's called Hand Mirror. I got it up here in the menu bar. Now if you could see, I click on my little mirror on the menu bar and a huge video pops up. Now here I can see very clearly that yes, I'm in focus. All right, it's all good. My framing is nice. Nothing is on the way. See, it's very easy to just check and then click away and start your Zoom meeting. And that is just an awesome, awesome free utility that Mac OS has. I'm gonna open up and show you some of the settings that you get with this free utility, which is very generous in my opinion. Of course, on the menu, drop down menu on the top right, you can select the camera that you wanna use. So if you have a webcam or a USB connected camera, preferences, we got uh, the menu bar icon, which is really neat. Uh, right now it's at the default, literally the mirror, you know, like a little hair mirror, I think it's cute. But you could also select something like a webcam. It looks like a little webcam is on the screen and that's a, a nice, icon but I, my favorite is the aperture you know being uh, loving photography that's a really cool icon i think another setting you have is the pop-up size the actual video size and i have it at the largest of course because i want to make sure everything is good and clearly and next we have the how to close that pop-up video that you have uh, i have it set to click away from the window so after I click on the icon to pop up the mirror, the, the mirror, <laughs> to pop up the video, check myself, I check the framing, the focus, everything is all good. I could just click away to the app that I'm gonna use such as Zoom and it closes by itself. Now, if you don't want that, if you wanna make sure to click on the icon again to close it, I don't know why you will want that, but is there if you want it. Another very cool reason to use this app is for the mirror effect. Yeah, you could actually mirror the video as opposed to QuickTime, as you can see down here, the corner is open. It doesn't mirror my hands, but this app actually does. So this is really nice. You know, you can see my guitar on my side, right side of the body, which is correctly displayed in front of me. So it makes it so much easier to frame and make sure everything is good to go. And of course you have the check to have it start automatically at login. So there you have it guys. This is the hand mirror app. Now it's a very, very, very cool, awesome utility that helps you just very quickly make sure you're all set for your conference meeting. So before you go to your next meeting, go ahead and download this app and make sure you're all set to go before you start work. All right, guys, if you found this hint helpful, useful, I would really appreciate your support with a thumbs up, sharing the videos as well, since we are all in this Zoom life. So thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Hopefully, I'll see you in another DIY or perhaps review video. See you in the next one. Peace. All right, better get back to work.